Hey there, everyone. My name is Nathan, and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock for factory reset protection. Now here with us today, we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy Tab E. That's an Android tablet made by Samsung that is originally from Sprint here in the U.S. And this is a device that does have the Google Account Lock enabled because as we can see here, we're going through the setup steps and we get to the screen that tells us that the device was reset. And to continue, we have to sign in with the Google account that was previously on the device. And that's because the account was not removed before doing the factory reset. Now, we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this model, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember or recover their login information after doing the factory reset, or because they purchased the device used from a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the device had the lock on it. And then after the purchase, the buyer discovered the lock, and obviously they don't have the login information for the Google account. The seller has usually long since disappeared in that case because it's a very common scam that happens all the time these days with the buying and selling of used mobile devices. So we're making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to remove this type of lock from this exact model without having to have the previous Google account login information. It's something that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection, and we can remotely connect to your computer right through the internet and perform the exact same procedure that we're doing right here with this one. So actually, before even starting the video, we had already done 99% of the work necessary to remove the lock from the device. And so now we just have to restart the tablet once, and then we should be able to see that we can indeed get all the way through the setup steps without coming to that Google Lock page. So we're just going to wait here for another 30 seconds or so while it finishes restarting. Okay. So we've got the welcome screen started up here. We're going to go ahead and start going through everything step by step. First, obviously, is to hit start. And then the next screen is Wi-Fi, but we actually don't need that. So we're just going to go ahead and turn that off and next. And then we have to agree to Samsung's terms and conditions. And then we're going to have this screen pop up. It usually doesn't actually take three or four minutes. Okay, now that we're past that, it's going to ask us if we want to put a name on it, which we don't need, so we're just going to hit next. And we don't need to put a screen lock on it. We need to agree to the Google services. We don't need a Samsung account, so we're going to skip that option also. We don't need any other useful features, so we can just skip that. And then there's finish. So, yep, we should see here that we do have the home screen loading up. We've got access to all of the apps and settings and features. And this is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on there. While we're here, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the settings just to show you exactly what we are working with. So if we go under about device or about tablet actually, we can indeed see that we do have a Galaxy Tab E with a model number there of SMT377P. So that is specifically the Sprint version of this device. So if you have one of these devices that has the Google account lock enabled and need help getting rid of it, we would love to assist you with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description. And I'll also put a slide at the end of the video that has all of the details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have here on our channel as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will enable you to be notified of all of the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching everyone and have a great rest of your day.